that was the moment. No, hold on a second. Oh my God. Hi, and welcome to Dr. Mix. We are in California at NAM 2024. Let's go! at the airport. What? <laughs> I was coming to see you anyway. I know you're coming to my booth, right? Exactly. So we're going to do an interview out there and stuff. Let's go to his booth. That's... Mantis, what is this? It is a geophonic hybrid synth that is based on the Wasp and the Oscar, but brought bang up to date. So it's the product that I partnered with Chris Huggett on, uh, the yes. late Chris Huggett in the time up to when he sadly passed away. But we have finished it and we are bringing it to market and I hope he's there looking down and is going, yeah. That's, that's the dual filter thing going on there. So where you've got width. Four voices and two voices and stuff, so this is really... Mind your ears. Listen, you have to come to my studio and yeah. show me 
all about this. Okay, let's do it. Hit like if you want how to bring a mantis to my studio. Yes! Thank you. That's right. <laughs> Did you see that? It's amazing. First time right now. It's incredible. Color, huh? Oi, right? It's got the double filter, so I think you can do the throaty thing. Oh, oh the different ones. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's hysterical. It is hysterical. And also it does like dual mono and paraphonic. So you can do like... Wow. Yeah. It's nice man. It's really well done. And you can, you, you can change them. What are you going to put instead? Red. I saw him do like a simple sequencer thing. So I broke in the drums and broke in the bass part and built him in the other part. He's like, it's going classic Quincy. He goes, I'm like, I'm 20 years old. He's like, I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> and then I'm going to remember that line, too. Hold on a second. What is, what is this? This is the Akai and PK Mini on a bass, basically. So you can replace your pedal board, you can go through effects on here, or you can trigger a loop. Uh, it's just a multi-tool for performance or like music learning. MIDI, quarter inch out. Wow. You can program it to do whatever you want. Yay! It's too cuckoo. Yeah. Too cuckoo for me. Yo. <laughs> How you doing, my man? I'm doing good. <laughs> You think I should play it harder? Can't... Exactly. We had a chance to really play with swam string sections. But for the ones who do not know, what is swam string section? A section of string based on physical modeling. So you can shape, you can express yeah. the instrument in a continuous flow. Dai, lo suoniamo? Sì. A few moments later It's incredible to, to, to think that uh, it's as sweet as it That's it. New heights of expression 
Yeah. But orchestra, because you know, I've been slogging through orchestra when I for decades. It's phrasing, do yeah. do do yeah, it's, four it's, notes, and then the next one yeah. one note, and it stays one yeah. bow this way over four beats, and it's not always just every four beats. Bow yeah, 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 yeah. Phrase the way you would phrase the music. Yeah, I think it's also a function of how hard you you push because, of course, if you wow. want to play harder, it, then then you have to go faster as well. You know, when you, when you play harder, you have to go faster. So yeah. the, the the thing that counts for it, right? Right. right. It's like right. To see. Exactly. It's like to see. Good. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Good observation. I'm not gonna cover yeah, this because they are already covering super well on Anthony Manielli's channel, an audio modeling channel. Go there for this exclusive. It's day number two at NAM. For me, anyway. At Kogan, yeah. we've been uh, in touch for a long time. Yeah. We've been doing some collaborations. Years, right? You guys have been awesome to me. But I am told that you've got something that I haven't seen yet. What in the world is this? Is, is this the 3300? I think it is. <laughs> You're making it again. We are. We just decided to make it again after probably 50 years. <laughs> Not true. Can you take me just through the specs? How many voices has it got? So it has 49 voices, basically one for each key on this board. So you could put your arm in here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Now, let me take that in. 49 voices. You have here three modules. These okay. three modules are exactly the same. So you have three exact modules and then one third module over here. One of these will be, imagine like it's one oscillator. Right. So each key that I press is three oscillators at the same time. So 49, three times. So we have 147 oscillators. 147 oscillators! 147. <laughs> Crazy, you know? It's nuts. Listen, I mean, here, feast your eyes. Let's let's play it. Let's go. Come on. Whoa. A monster. Listen, tell me more about this instrument because this is this is basically the last massive analog polyphonic synthesizer. This is everything that happened just before the 80s. So the same guy, Fumio Mieda. Fumio Mieda! Who made the MS series, like, you know, the MS-10, the MS-20, MS-50, the VC-10, the first recorder with keys. Same guy, a couple of years later, was like, okay, now we did the monophonic thing. Right. Let's do the polyphonic thing. So he started with the... 3100 and the 3100 is basically one of these modules. Yeah. Right? And yeah. It became this. We made only 50 units in three years. Right. For the whole world. 50 units. 50 units. So there are only 50 of them? Exactly. And you are now gonna make a few more. 
Uh, it's going to be on demand, so we don't know how many that will be. What we know is that out of those 50 units, only very few remain to this day. It's been like crazy, rare, you know. Even for us, it has been extremely hard to get our hands on one vintage units. You do not have a price for this yet, do you? No, we don't have a price. It's, it's invaluable, really. <laughs> yeah, because of course, I mean, this is all handmade, I would, I would imagine, right? All analog, and we have replicated even to the, you know, all the components that were used at the time to the team. But we are also, we brought this to the modern time, so yeah. we added MIDI, we added yeah. computer compatibility. Yeah, of you course. Have recall all of your micro tunings for all your scales and each module. So all of that can be done through your computer. Can I play some more? Please. because it's got infinite polyphony basically. <laughs> I want one too. <laughs> Ivan, thank you so, so much. Thank You're you. such a star. Where can we learn more about this? Is there a link? Uh, there isn't a link yet because we. That's how early we are. You still want to keep an eye on coke.com.
I am going to reveal something about my panels. Check this out. GIK Acoustics. In case you wondered, my panel is this one, except it's in red. The people who have provided those panels for all these years is the first time I'm meeting today. <laughs> Everyone, David from GIK Acoustics. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm great. Look around here. These are beautiful. Is, is this our new thing? So these are the new slat fuses that we've literally just bought out in the last two or three weeks. And as you can see, they're a real yes. opening. Acoustic shouldn't just be about sounding good. It's got to look good too. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that. It's so cool. And also, this is super cool. Yeah. These are part of the impression match. And the idea of these was they don't do the diffusion, but what they do do is reflect and they're not cool. Also, you shouldn't make them this good because they last a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've had some of them for like 10 years. Yes. Yeah. They're like brand new. Yeah. Brand yeah. new, always. They stay new. Yeah. Guys, I really recommend that to go and check out GIK Acoustics. Next! <laughs> 12 seconds later. Let's hear it for Dave Pizzato. Oh, yeah! Eventually, check who's here. It's a lightweight 69 key acoustic piano. Weighs 130 pounds. Thing that I do not play saxophone.
something new. Show me something new. And what is that? Two is the last one that has been released in November. You can try it here on the RP display here. Does this mean that we have some new sounds in here? Yes. Can you please tell us more? I introduce you to you uh, Dr. Manny Fernandez, an incredible sound designer who has been already responsible for our sounds for the DX7, the SY99, wow. the VL1, the VP1, yeah, all of them. All that fun stuff. stuff. Hold on a second. SY99. And the Montage M, by the way. And the Montage as well. Yeah. SY99, the demo song, was made by Chikoria. Correct. What are the sounds that he used on that one? Oh boy. Uh, I could not tell you off the top of my head. That was 40 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. You know that I yeah. love the C15, I, right? I do, I do. I've seen you play it. You play it phenomenally. And the thing that I Thank wanted you. to bring to it is that it is a really cool hybrid engine of FM, wave shaping, and physical modeling. And those are my particular areas where I really enjoy doing my sound design. I like to drive it with pedals. It feels like I'm in a car. You know, I'm about to try your new sounds. evolving right that's what I want to have is continuous motion if you put the input from the controllers and take it from either nuanced narrow changes to wacky stuff some of the things you can make like eight different things yeah. by how you have this relative set yeah. it's like a little bit like of course FM has that characteristic that yeah. you touch a few things and it like completely exactly. Exactly. smashes the texture of the sound into right. something else correct Yeah. Because you don't hear that in so many other forms of synthesis. Yeah. That's why FM still is relevant. That's why physical modeling is still fantastic because yeah. they give you that yeah. sauce, that sizzle, that special yeah. something that acoustic instruments do yeah. that electronics don't. But this is this is unique in the way that it does that. Yeah, it's got the behavior like that's exactly it. Behavior. Right, it, like it's the be it behaves like an acoustic instrument, and it's not necessarily. Hi, it's good to see you. <laughs> Having fun? Yeah, great fun. Have, have you already spoken? Oh, spoken, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you have. Oh, if you haven't checked this out. What is it? That's incredible. By the way, if you don't know who Silvia Massi is, go check her out, go check out her work. I'm a huge fan. You're Thank fun. you for, for, for stopping by. Of course. Well, this is terrific. terrific. Have a great show. Thank you. Next sound? 
so many cool. Woo! Oh yeah. So it's just all about those changes. It goes from very analog yeah, to very yeah, nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then back. It creates like an inner dialogue with yes, the instrument. Yes, it right? leads you along. It wants leads you, to you along. I'm gonna play the last sound, <laughs> otherwise this would be the longest video on the planet. C15 nonlinear labs, you should check that out right now. There's a link right there. Thank you so much. Wonderful thank playing. Wonderful playing. Wonderful, thank you. Come, 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 come. Oh, oh, you're in the middle. What a legend. Hey, what a doing? legend. <laughs> See you later. It's like, it's, it, it, it. And obviously, ASN, baby. Whoa. That's super nice. What's happening here? Oh, hey, Dr. Mix. Hey, how you doing, man? Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> so this is the rack version, right? Yes, that's top of Rack Mountain, the 19-inch rack. And this is blues? All the scales. Oh, these are scales. Yep. Say for a uh, guitar player, you can play it like guitar rap rock. If you want a chromatic, but while well, you can see the scale, then yeah. you can do this. Shift, mis and, uh, mixolydian. Yeah. Yeah. That's super cool. Dominic, thank you so much. Good to see you. Good to Thanks. see you too. Next time. I would not leave Nam without having played Expressive Ease Osmos. How you doing, Josh? How's it going? Good to see you. See Listen, you. I think you know the synthesizer, but if you haven't, you should check it out. It's a very special, very expressive machine. And I want to ask you, Josh, because we've seen it before, but I believe that you know a few tricks that haven't been exploited yet. Can you sure. please explain those to us? The thing that people don't necessarily get right away, they get bendy keys, they get the aftertouch, but the way we describe it is a gestural synthesizer. And what that really means is that if I play it like this, I get one attack. Staccato. If I play it. Oh, wow. And then each sound is going to engage the second half of key trap with an aftertouch, independent per key. And again, I can combine these in any way I want. So. Or I can engage aftertouch. Yeah.
independent per key. So oh, the, the wow. level of creativity you can figure out to use your hands is, is what you can achieve. Can it's, I try it? Please. Listen, how, what is this trick where if I do this, it bends, but if I do this, it doesn't? It's what called pressure-weighted portamento. You set a minimum interval, and then the relative pressure between the keys, that interval or less, is going to trigger it. But open, it won't. So... You can also set it to higher intervals. And remember, this is independent. Anytime you go wider than right. that interval, it goes okay. okay. So, so I can go from here. And then you can set it, like a fun thing to do is to set it at a major seventh, play an octave. It's also a very smart octave switcher. Right. It keeps what you're holding and moves. And then now I can, You can also set it to full keyboard, which is actually 96 steps. <laughs> and again, it's going to preserve this. Yeah. I can move up. There was a set of brassy sound that you were playing earlier. Oh, that's... Oh. Well, we have pressure rated portamento maxed out. Yeah. But if I do second... have a lot of like really and you play like that <laughs> jeez wow that was awesome man Thank you. jeez You should really check out Osmo's Josh. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Oh yeah. Ciao, ciao. Do you mind if I try it? Fazioli.
And that was the moment. No, hold on a second. Oh, God. Oh. I so. How do you make it? Yeah, how do you make them? What do they make with them? I uh, buy the white ones, you know, that are untreated, mm -hmm. and then I save them. And I make a point out of having more. Mm -hmm. So when I see the No, if you doing like, if you making these noises, I'm like, oh, I love that. Like, if you talking, like, it's crazy. The feel is weird for me. same style of beats as uh, he does, uh, which is just coincidental. Uh, because I make this once, I make myself. Uh, I, I saw him, I went like super fan mode, uh, obviously, uh, yeah, and yeah, I yeah. gave him all my beats. Uh, and, okay. he, and he accepted them. Awesome, bro. That's a good song, yeah. I love it. Like some things you can assign that. So one of them would be like, let's say a reverb set. Okay, so I have this. So that's how a blind person is used to KW. <laughs> yeah, of course. Let's go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hiding in a corner. Dude, this is music royalty. Live set is remember what live set is? Up top, middle. Performance home. Live set's there. There you go. Now you're live set. Now the 16 buttons will get you through.
Yeah. It's Dr. Mix here. Dr. Mix! I love you, man. You're so talented, man. Uh, yo, Blake, Blake was showing me the software plugin. Yeah. It's kind of accessible. So. Yeah, I, I watched you do it. That was great. Yo. Yo, man. Do you have this? Uh, I. No, I have the Modi X. I have. You need this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your video. <laughs> yeah, I saw your video on your uh, on the the DX. The, yeah, the, yes, yeah, yeah, the, the DX. DX uh, I, I heard, yeah. I heard, I heard you with that. Let me <laughs> <laughs> I heard that video. Whoa! Yeah. Like I can actually hear both both vibratos. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Jaco, what is it?
not. It's not. <laughs> With my mind utterly blown <laughs> with Princess Piano in the back and the most amazing sunset in front. I salute you from Anaheim, California, NAM 2024. I hope you enjoyed this.